Hi, welcome to the video training of Node.js and in this video training we will be learning about Zlib module. The Node.js Zlib module is used to provide compression and decompression, zip and unzip functionalities. It is implemented using gzip and deflate inflate. The Zlib module can be accessed using the Zlib module. So you can create a Zlib object by requiring the Zlib module. Compressing and decompressing a file can be done by piping the source stream data into a destination stream through Zlib stream. Let's see a simple example of Node.js Zlib module to compress a file input.txt into input.txt.gz. Let's create a file zlib underscore example one.js. For this example to run, we also need an extra file called input.txt. So let's create that file first, input.txt. And I can just write anything within this file. So we just need some data. copy here ok save this file and now we can create our main node.js file zlib example 1.js ok let's create the zlib object requiring the zlib library then we have gzip object by gzip dot create create gzip and then we need file system object because we will be working with files and we need to do some file handling here const inp equal file system dot create read stream input dot txt then we need output object file system create write stream this is the file we need to output to the rating system directory this will be a zip file so let's do the final thing inp dot pipe gzip dot pipe out this is the main heart of this piece of code which will be doing the final execution let's save this file go to the console take a look at the directory contents we have the input.txt file let's run this program node zlib example 1.js ok it says is duplex this instance of stream duplex is not an object right hand side of instance of okay let's see this okay, let's run this example okay we have some error here there's nothing wrong with our program it's just the version thing between the node.js versions so to fix this for now i can add console.log one here save the file go to the console run it again okay you see we have a zip file now input.txt.gz and we want to check the size of the files so you can see the original file is 1.4k and the zip file is only 54 bytes so that's a lot of difference between the zipped file and the unzipped file okay now let's see an example of node.js to decompress a file input.txt.gz into input2.txt this is the same file that we have just created a zip for so i can create example 2 here and in this example we just need to use create unzip and this will be unzip as well okay here we need to say 
input will be zip file and output will be input to dot txt file all right and inp pipe inp pipe dot unzip and pipe dot out so input will be the compressed file it will be unzipped by the zlib module and piped out save the file go to the console and we are going to run the example 2 here zlib example 2.js check the contents you see we have input 2.txt file let's check the contents of input 2.txt file okay we have got it successfully uncompressed and now let's look at the file sizes so input 2 is successfully decompressed and it is equal to the source file which we compressed in the first example that was about the node.js zlib compression and uncompression module i hope that you have understood the basic concept and how to utilize it in your programs if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel all of the source code will be available on my github repository you can download it from there if you have any questions you can only you can always email me at my email address i always include my email address in the video training videos thank you very much see you next time with a new topic in node.js